YouTube world, talking to you on camera for the first part of this um, video. Anyway, so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me and something that is a little bit different. And um, before I get into that, this is a 12 by 16 DuPage canvas. This is from the range in the UK. If you're watching in the UK and you buy your uh, canvases from the range, um, don't be confused with artist canvas and artist panel because the artist panel are those hard, rigid um, panels. They're still gessoed. But I, I don't like those for fluid art because they have such a hard edge that you, you kind of get a white line all the way around. And it's not good. So artist canvas is what you want. This is going to be a seascape, landscape-ish-esque. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do, is, it's going to be a mixture of fluid art and normal acrylic painting. It's something that I've been wanting to do for such a while and never really got around to doing it. And sometimes, you, you know, you just have to do it. Pencil and a ruler. Now, I want to create a very straight horizon line. And I want to concentrate on the rule of thirds. Okay, so this canvas is 30 centimetres deep. And we know that 30 divided by 3 is 10 really simple really simple so the rule of thirds is very simply a grid system that you can use in photography in art um, when you're generally laying something out That'll do. So where I put my horizon line is actually quite important. I don't like seeing horizon lines right bang centre of a canvas. So I'm going to measure that's 10. So right in the middle there is 5. And we're going to measure here 5. And here 5. Oh, I am going to put a line through the centre. Okay, and I'm going to put some masking tape just above that centre line. I have a couple of brushes here. This is um, a filbert brush. It's got a round head and it's quite a co coarse brush that I use for scratching in. When you're starting off painting, you, and you do your underpainting, I use this brush. Then I have a softer square. I might not use it, I'm, I might just stick with this one. I'm just going to paint a straight horizon in, well, the hills. I'm going to do some hills. I'm going to do some hills. The paints I've got are um, Payne's Grey, Black and Silver. I'm going to start off by mixing some Payne's Grey and Silver. Because these hills are going to be in the back, the distance. So I don't want black, black. Very scratchy. And now I'm going to go in with just some Payne's Grey on its own with a tiny bit of black mixed in.
Now, I'm gonna get, this is a rather old brush, very coarse hair brush again. I need some new brushes, I'm not taking good care of them. And I'm gonna just work that in, blend it in. Dry brush. Phase two. Let's take this off. So now I am going to um, put some more masking tape, just checking it's dry, on that side. I can always touch that afterwards. But I'm just going to take some of the stickiness off. Just kind of rubbing up on my um, apron here so it's not it's not as sticky as it was my base color for this pour is going to be uh, table paint so it's a pour that went wrong a few weeks ago and it's a mixture of oh, five or six colors and this is the color it came out it's kind of a phthalo turquoise. So I'm going to mix up, because I want this to be the sea in the distance, I want to mix up a colour similar to this with, with um, phthalo turquoise, because this is quite a... So this is quite a saturated colour compared to this. So I'm going to add a few drops of orange to try and neutralise it a little bit more. So I'm adding its complementary colour. Put that one away. So just working on a little bit of reflection in the water that will be in the sky, I hope. But again, I can come back and I can adjust that afterwards. It's beauty with the acrylic paint. You work in layers. Just used. that one to dry and then we'll take the tape off and we will do the fluid art bit tomorrow in two halves so what I'll do is I'll pull the sky as a flip cup then we'll do the base with my table paint so I'll let that go off first do the base and the base then over the top is going to, I'm going to, a series of colours and I'm going to do a bit of a ribbon pour and then I'm going to tilt. Great plans, eh? <laughs> we'll see what happens. 